When the Marines need to take a beach, the amphibious assault vehicle gets them there. Second Lieutenant Connor Murphy commands a platoon of AAVs. He understands the capabilities it brings to the fight. If we can establish a foothold on the beach, each AAV has a 50 caliber machine gun and a Mark 19 fully automatic grenade launcher. It allows us to create a great deal of suppression on the enemy, create a good standoff distance, and allow the infantry to assault through the objective on the beach. Introduced in the 1970s, the AAV remains the key component of the Corps' amphibious strategy. It can move more than 20 Marines in their gear. It has several advantages over other troop transports, like helicopters and hovercrafts. We're able to splash in less than favorable conditions. With air assets, they're usually looking at a very narrow scope for the kind of weather that they can launch in. So that allows commanders greater flexibility in planning an amphibious operation. After landing on the beach, the vehicle can travel up to 200 miles without refueling, giving the infantry the firepower and the mobility they need to succeed in combat. Reporting from Camp Pendleton, California, I'm Marine Sergeant Jacob Harr.